Okay, this is the mic setup for the metal track. Um, overall, there's pretty much a really full mic setup, starting from the bass drum. Got a dynamic bass drum mic pointing in on axis, right at the skin, relatively close. And there's quite a bit of pad in there because it's going to be post-triggering. Bass drum's going to be triggered uh, in Cubase using a sample of a bass drum, we haven't decided yet, but that'll be getting done. At the top we've got a spaced pair, relatively low, uh, simply to catch the cymbals and some parts of the kit. Um, yes, so around here we've got a XY pair, a coincident pair, that we sat about 6 to 10 feet away just to capture the room and get a stereo image of the overall kit. Um, so going back to the other parts of the kit, we've got uh, directional mics on both main toms and the snare. Uh, they're at quite low heights, uh, again just to capture the attack. They're going to be post-triggered possibly as well, um, and maybe other effects added, so it was just to make sure we got clarity on each of those clear hits for each. Um, the ma other sort of major addition is the condenser mic pointed at the right symbol. Um, so we're just going to see how that sounds because uh, the right symbol is quite prominent in this form of music anyway, but especially in this particular track we're doing. So there's a fair bit of work getting done on it, so we thought we'd mic it up to see how it sounds. Uh, Floor Tom's got a dynamic omnidirectional mic on it. Um, and that's just to pick up the sort of bass tones of the floor tom itself. Um, snare drum's five and a half inches deep. Um, it's a good general size for metal style, but again, it's going to be possibly post-triggered um, with a sample. Um, again, the mics are close, quite close to the skin. Pick up the attack. Um, I'll also be using heavier sticks for this particular track, so um, probably the hits on the snare and toms is going to sound a lot more definite <laughs> with the extra weight of the of the stick. The hi hat has got a condenser mic pointing at the point of impact, but it's relatively high up; it's about six inches up, um, so we can um, still get a bit of the a bit of a bit of room between that and the the point of impact. Um, and that's about it for the, the metal setup. As I say, there'll be effects added as we do the mix down. So hopefully it'll all sound pretty good.